For the rest of my days, I will praise God for giving As me I the said, chance. As I said, how could I possibly I keep my heart from singing way. on a day but like this? Our Savior has finally before. come, and his name is Jesus. Boys and girls, well, we made it through the entire story of the very first Christmas. I hope you enjoyed seeing it from a different point of view. But it's important also to remember why Jesus came in the first place. If you have been listening very carefully during our series, you may have heard it. If not, our final video will explain it to you. God loves us so much. I'm so glad that we can have a personal relationship with him because of Jesus. Bye boys and girls, enjoy the video and Merry Christmas. God created everything from the stars to the bugs and it was good. The first two people, Adam and Eve, they lived in a beautiful garden. They knew God very well and were close to him, but Satan is a destroyer. So he lied to Adam and Eve. They didn't obey God, and their sin of disobedience broke the relationship they enjoyed with God. They could no longer be as close because he is holy. This made God very sad. He made a plan to one day bring them back into relationship with him because he loved them so much. He would send a redeemer to save them by showing them how to restore the relationship. Through the years and the years and the years, God showed who he was and the promises he made and kept in the lives of his people. Noah, Abraham, Ruth, Daniel, Rahab, and King David. After so many years, it was time to send the Redeemer who would save people from their sins. He wanted people to decide to stop sinning and follow Him. God sent His Son, Jesus, to earth both to be God and to live as a human. God wanted people to understand who He is through the words and actions of His Son. Jesus was born as a baby to two regular people, Mary and Joseph, in a not-so-regular way. He came as a helpless baby and not a full-grown person. By letting people care for him, he showed how humble he is. He also learned about all the things we would go through. His miraculous birth was the first of many ways God showed his great love for us, the people he created. When Jesus grew up, he showed God's love for us in the way He treated people, the lessons He taught, and the miracles He performed. Jesus cared for everyone He met and shared His message of how much God loves us. Jesus invited people to trust in Him and follow Him in the way they live their lives. He would save people from their sins and restore their relationship with God. But not everyone believed Jesus was God's son, and some hated him. Then, Jesus allowed himself to be sacrificed on the cross for our sins. He died so we can be close to God again. Someone had to pay the price for our sins, and Jesus was willing. That was God's plan all along. That's why Jesus died on the cross. Jesus' friends and followers were very sad, but he didn't stay dead. On the third day, he came back to life. He is alive today and is living in heaven. By his spirit, he lives within people who trust in him. We can know we will live forever in heaven with Jesus when our life on earth is done, if we accept him as our savior and redeemer. That's why God sent Jesus as a baby, for you and me. That's why Jesus died on the cross, for you and me.